Hello friends. I've got another unboxing video for you. I treat you so fine, I really do. This one, hmm. One of those things where you think to yourself, shall I buy it, shall I not buy it? I haven't seen one for a long time. Certainly not seen one in this color previously. But yeah, I'm dubious as to whether or not I've done the right thing. But uh, anyway, let's get it out of the box and we'll see what we think. <laughs> So these cleaners, um, and this particular one that I've got to show you today, um, they're funny little things. They are really weird. As I say, I haven't seen one of these for a long time. Um, I'm trying to work out how to get into it. How have they done this? Like, uh, they're trying to put a box in a box, but I'm not quite sure how. Let me just slice through here so I can... Um, so I have owned one of these cleaners in the past. It's not a very big box, as you can see, but if I just do that, that's the box. And I don't think there's great packaging in here, so hopefully the machine has uh, has actually survived the uh, journey. But I remember having one many, many years ago, and it was black. So this one came up on eBay, and it's uh, yellow. So this, this is the yellow version which I think is quite unusual. I don't remember seeing the, the yellow version of this cleaner or it being very common. Um, ooh, let's get rid of that. Okay. Honestly, I've got so many boxes now, it's ridiculous. I could start my own box company. But it should be quite easy to get out. Just let me, let me get rid of this box so I can wiggle it out. It's not a very big cleaner. Oh, flip neck. Hang on. <laughs> oh, get out! <sighs> this is the trouble, you never know if they're going to be easy to extract or not, and this one definitely not. This has been packed quite well. Oh, almost there. Good God! <laughs> I can't get out of the box. Oh, flipping paper. Oh, oh. oh, finally. Good God. Okay, there we are. Got it out of the box. And there it is. Isn't it tiny? Yes, it is. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like an ultra compact upright cleaner. So it is, it is an upright. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's been a long time. Now, this is one of those ones where you think to yourself, well, you guys will probably think, what has he done? Why? Why has he bought that? And to be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure myself. But I saw it there and I thought, oh, I really want that. I like it. I want it. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's try and get it out. I'm still trying to get it out of the packaging. My goodness, what a, what a lava. Okay, we're almost there. Oh. oh, that was exhausting. That was exhausting. There we go. I'm a pile of packaging here now. Oh my god. Well, there we go. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> um. This is an Electrolux, even though it doesn't say Lux anywhere on it. There's no Lux branding on it whatsoever. The Boss Superlight 401. Now these cleaners were around. Um, I was trying to think when they when they were around. Oh good lord! Uh, it must be a racing plate here. So, oh here we go. There is so. Okay, this one's from 2003, so yeah, that would be around the kind of time when I saw them. They, they used to be sold in like Argos and such like. I'm not sure if Curry's did them as well, but they're like these really small, super compact, um, fully, fully functional, upright vacuum cleaners. Now, I just need to take that off because that's not in quite right. 
and yeah, they're not, oh, you look at it now, well, you, you look at it and you think about what you can get now in like a compact upright cleaner and this is just really, ooh, <laughs> this is, yeah, poor, I think is the, um, um, is the word to use here, it's poor, it's quite poor quality, it's not, it's not good. Let's let's put it let's put it like that. It's not it's not good. Um, this is a like a super budget vacuum cleaner. Really really tiny. One of those machines, I guess, that's that's made for older people. So um, you know, it's really really easy to use because it's very very lightweight. I mean, it is extraordinarily light. There is virtually nothing to it whatsoever. There's something really funny going on here. I just need to show you underneath. I think, I think we might be missing a panel. If you look there, I'll just hold it up to you. There's a whole pile of dirt there. Can you, can you see it? And I think that might be like an anti-blockage thing. So, and there's a ridge to this. There's like a catch here. So yeah, we're, we're missing a panel from it, which is a real shame because I do actually kind of want to use this. Uh, because I'm a masochist and I enjoy causing myself pain. So yeah, brilliant. Um, can't use it like that because there's a flipping great hole there where the suction uh, channel is. Let's just let's just pull this out and see what we've got. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. So yeah, and we've got even more dirt here. I'm just gonna stick my finger in there and pull it all out for you. So this is. Bring that back so you can see it. This is all the nice dirt that's left in our little Lux. <clears throat> and yeah, we definitely need to do something about this um, opening here. This left like that, it ain't gonna work because there, there's a hole in the bottom of the cleaner. So yeah, that's not ideal. Um, but I can see through it from this end, so, so that's, that's fine. It seems to sort of close itself up. If you put the handle up like that, this is almost completely closed. There's like um, an, an opening here that goes to the suction channel for, for the dust box. If you put it like that, it's yeah, it's almost completely closed. But I guess there's no suction when it's in its upright configuration, which kind of makes sense. But look at this, look at this pile of dirt that I've just pulled out of it. It's just shocking. So we've got, it's, it's almightily powerful. It is unbelievably powerful. It's 200 watts. 200 watts of power here, uh, made in China. Uh, so it's ch Chinese rubbish. Again, don't get me started about uh, China. But it's really funny because there's no Electrolux branding on this whatsoever. And there's no um, Eureka branding. Because I'm pretty sure uh, Eureka had the same mainly the same vacuum cleaners that, that we had in Europe uh, but under a, a different name so Lux and Eureka were, were the same company I think Electrolux owned them I don't know when they bought them quite some time ago so you have a little suction motor up here in the top and you have a really tiny little motor that drives the brush roll so it does you know, it does. It, it has. It has a brush roll. Um, it's not like a straight suction cleaner. Some of these little budget ones, you don't even get a, a brush roll on it. You just get a straight suction channel. But this one, at least, has a brush roll to it. So you get the the airflow kind of comes from underneath and it goes up and around and then it comes into this little, this really poor kind of dust chamber um, with this absolutely horrific filter on it so that's the only filter the machine has this really bad I mean you can see through it basically it's just like a cheap and nasty filter in a cage um, and you kind of put it in to the dust box it doesn't it's not entirely obvious which way it goes actually to be quite honest with you I've got kind of a feeling that it goes in like this. I think I think this I think the person that I bought it off may have had the filter in wrong. Does it go like that? I think it goes like that actually. Yes, there we go. There we go. So they they had it in the wrong way around. It was on the wrong side, which kind of makes me think now that the poor thing has probably sucked up an unbelievable oh god. <laughs> an unbelievable amount of dirt up into its motor. Because I'm looking here, if you look here. 
Let me put that down. Hopefully you can see it. There's, there, there's a, a, the opening there. So, so that's where the, the suction goes. Basically, that goes up and then it's expelled from these vents on the side here. I mean, you, you see how, how I'm holding this. You, you see how light this cleaner is. It's just un, unbelievably light. It's um, it's lighter than that Auric was, and the Auric is is incredibly light. But this is this is, I guess, what you would call it f featherweight. It's featherweight. Um, and then you can like extend the handle out. So there's a catch here. You push the catch. And then the handle pops out, so it's got you're at like full height. Um, so that's how you would use it normally. Uh, so I suppose we should plug it in and plug it in and turn it on and see if it actually works. I am sceptical, I must say. Oh God, that is a state in there. There's such a bad way of doing it. If you can see down there, that's basically what you get. So you get just that size um, of filter in it. There's no pleated filter or anything. There's no HEPA, no HEPA filter. <laughs> this with a HEPA filter. Which is quite funny because even the even the worst modern uh, cheapest nastiest handheld cleaners have those uh, pleated HEPA filters in them. This cleaner from 2003 which is trying to be a proper upright vacuum cleaner just got this mesh thing filter uh, like it's quite surprising really how did they how do they get away with that I, I, I kind of think it's not even sealing properly now no I don't think it is actually it's really quite hard to work out which way it goes because you don't have any gaps there if you've got a gap then you ain't gonna get but it's weird, it feels right, if you know what I mean. It feels like it should go in like that. I, I just, I think, I think it is. I'm going to try and put it in again. But it doesn't really reach all the way down to the end. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's a gap. No, that's hitting the bottom. <laughs> Please excuse my phone again. Maybe it goes this way. No, it can't go that way. It can't. No, it cannot physically go that way because it, it abuts that uh, top chamber bit. So I'm a bit confused now, actually. I'm a bit confused as to how this goes. It doesn't help the fact that the damn thing is bent. That is not helping us in any way, shape or form. I think it go I think I had it right. I th I'm pretty sure I had it right. I think it goes in this way. I think it's sealed, even though it doesn't look it. But you can't see it from the back. No, it's not sealed. I'm lying to you. That's really odd. Let me push it down. Does it need to clip into place, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it is. <sighs> right. Give me a few minutes. Let me try and work this out, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, well, I think I've got it now. I, th I think it's in right. It's genuinely impossible to tell, actually. I really don't know. Um, maybe there's something missing here. But, <sighs> yeah, it just doesn't look like it's in properly. But uh, whatever. We'll give it a go, see what happens. Um, we'll probably end up with a whole load of rubbish sucked into, into the, the motor. But, uh yeah, not, not entirely sure what I can do about that. But anyway, let's plug it in and uh, see if it works. Hopefully it does. I might have to revisit that filter at some point and try and work out what on earth is going on with it. Let's plug it in and see what happens. So we've got a two position switch here at the top. Well, three, really. Off floors and carpets. So I guess we put it into floors I don't want it to blow dust in my face. So let's try and... It's quite noisy. It's 
so loud <laughs> um yeah definitely definitely needs a service there the um the the fan because it would be one fan and it is uh, totally loaded up with dust and dirt and hairs and god knows what else uh, so it's really like yeah it doesn't sound particularly healthy um as I say, we can't use it now because we've got that hole in the bottom. So, again, I think same same deal as we had with the compact. I'll take it away, give it a clean, give it a service. Sorry, just... Why did I buy this? <laughs> Why? What was I thinking? Genuinely, what was I thinking? Why did I waste my money on this? Um, I suppose it's quite nice to have. I think I had this crazy idea that I'd actually use it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. It would be quite useful on my kitchen floor because that's, that's a hard floor so it would be quite quite good for that. I mean everywhere else uh, around the house it would be completely and utterly useless. The first sniff of cat hair in there on that filter um, and you're gonna have no suction at all. Absolutely no suction. It will just completely block up because it's just that stupid one sheet of uh, filter. So yeah, I'm, I'm sat here thinking to myself, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why Why do you do this to yourself? Um, I suppose it's, it's quite an inter interesting little cleaner. You just don't see them anymore now. They've all died um, for very good reason, I would think. That, that filter there is just awful. Um, and the fact that I'm still not convinced I've got that in right. I, I was sat here for a good five minutes fiddling with that, fiddling about, trying to make that filter fit properly. I still don't think it is. I wonder if I could come up with some other way of doing it, maybe. that, that That's possible. Because you've got space there at the top. And this dust cup kind of seals to the top area. So I wonder if maybe I could come up with a better kind of filter for it. It's worth th thinking about because what it's currently got is just completely and totally useless yeah i'll have I'll, I'll have a think about that mm. yeah <laughs> i think of all the vacuum cleaners that i've shown you on this channel from the utterly utterly terrible Utterly terrible. I'm not sure. This could be the worst, actually. If I'm totally honest with you, this could be the worst vacuum cleaner I have ever shown you. I mean, the housemaid there is is awful. It is it's an awful vacuum cleaner. But but dot dot dot. At least it performs its task. It doesn't do it particularly well, and it, 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 it doesn't do it for very long because they all broke. But at least the housemaid is a proper vacuum cleaner. At least it would work until its bag is full or it exploded. At least it would do more than one room. This thing won't even do a room. As I say, the the moment that that filter blocks up and that's just a couple of passes back and forth, that filter is just finished. Um, the airflow would drop to the point where it was absolutely pointless using it. That doesn't happen with the housemaid. That will at least have some suction as as it fills this the moment it starts filling, it's useless, absolutely useless. Yeah, 
I think we I think we've got a winner here, guys. I think we have a winner for the worst vacuum cleaner I have ever shown you. And possibly the worst waste of money I've ever done. Uh, no, that's not entirely true. I once bought a 1989 Jaguar XJ40 2.9 straight six for £600. And that, that was my worst ever purchase. That was unbelievably terrible. And that was about 17 years ago. So I haven't done bad. Uh, yeah, this thing. Oof. I'm just half tempted to put it straight in the bin. You know, I, honestly, I honestly am. I'm sat here looking at it thinking, What's the point? What is it? I know I'm touching my face. I've just been, I've had my hands all over this and I'm touching my face. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go and have a drink, actually. That's it. I'm just going to, that's it. I've had it f for this week. I've got some whiskey in the kitchen. And that's, that, that's calling me. I'm going to leave this here. I'm just going to leave it sat there. I'm going to go away. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to make up my mind what to do with this. If you want to tell me what to do with it, don't be rude. Then leave a comment below. Tell me what I should do with this. Please don't say insert it somewhere. This is a family friendly ch channel. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done? What have I What's wrong with me? Must oh, I don't know. <sighs> anyway, whilst I go off and uh, drown my sorrows, I better put that down because that's no. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and drown my sorrows. I'm going to wish you guys a very happy week. Um, you take care. Don't forget to do the usual: comment, subscribe, and like. I really. I appreciate it and it would definitely cheer me up after this disaster and uh, yeah I will see you guys hopefully in the next video if you haven't all tuned out because I'm showing you this crap but um, until then take care bye bye oh. what am I doing